Hi right, guys, welcome back. Um, a bit of an apology, I haven't taken too much footage of this. Um, the shell's now ready for primer, but we've, me and Chris have both been so busy um, just trying to get to deadlines that I haven't had time to take too much footage. Um, but yeah, let's do a quick walk around and uh, yeah, show you what we've been up to. Okay, so the body now is all shaped up in filler. So we had a bit of a light skim. The door had a few wobbles in it, but that's now arrow straight. Hardly anything in this rear quarter, just where it was joined up here. That's looking nice. A little bit of work in the engine bay. Oh. Just where we put that panel in there. This rear quarter was pretty good as well. Obviously I've cut this panel into three sections. Uh, so that's why that's got a skim in there. Getting the door a little bit wobbly. Gaps again looking good. Front wing was in good shape. And then the bonnet needed a good skim as well. So generally speaking, um, the first skim will be to fill your lows with a bit of filler. And then things like the door will generally skim the whole panel with dolphin glaze. Obviously most of that ends up back on the floor once it's rubbed out. Um, Chris is pretty efficient at making dust by rubbing stuff down. Um, but just make sure we get those panels arrow straight. So this will go into first prime now. And then once that's in first prime, we'll do a final dry build. Make sure we're happy with the fitment of everything. Uh, the rear bumpers are being changed for some fiberglass items without the, um, it's like normally a little corrugated rubber panel here. So it's a bit like an RSR style, but there's a bit of a lead time on those. So um, we'll be waiting about four weeks, five weeks for those. So we're gonna crack on with the body. Um, and yeah, hopefully those bumpers fit nice and we can just paint them. Right, let's get this in primer. Right, that's the car in high build now. And it's had two good coats of high build. Um, this will now sit for, well, probably till the middle of next week. And um, just let that primer draw back. And then Chris will block it all down, just refine it, and then get it into second prime. And the reason we do that is because the primer will draw in to any production marks from the sandpaper um, and it just stops any sinkage really further down the road once the car's painted so it will keep that finish on the paint um, and just basically provide longevity to the job um, which we're pretty keen to provide when people are spending a lot of money with us on paintwork we really want these cars to last um, and not have any issues down the road so that's why we put in the extra extra effort. It takes probably another week and another primer kit, but it's well worth the time. Right, on to the next bit.
Okay, that's the dry build done. Let's have a walk around and see what's what. So the bonnet's all latched up now. And as you can see, we've got nice gaps down to each wing. We are overhanging slightly, so I think we're gonna have to move the bonnet back a touch. Um, it's a pretty big gap there, so that will move back. Um, again, doors all gapped up nicely. We've test fitted these seal covers, um, basically because we've replaced the seal. Well, actually we didn't rear quarter this side, but we had to re-drill the holes on the new seal for that. And then some brackets on the seal there to hold that on. So you can see it's nice and straight to the door edge. Um, I'll make a point of popping the quarter lights in just to make sure the gap down the front edge is nice. We've had to put the roll hoop on. Um, we did some repair work around here, which meant we lost some of the holes for this trim. Um, so we put that on, which sets our distance for this. So that's all fitting nicely. We haven't done anything with the boot yet because we're still waiting for the whale tail to turn up, but that should be with us this week. Again, test fitted this trim so we could drill the holes. Make sure that all fits nicely. Same with the sill cover this side. We had to drill all new holes because we had new quarter and new sill. These gaps are good. And likewise with the quarter light this side. Just make sure that gap's nice and even. So yeah, we're pretty much ready now to take this back apart. Chris will block it all, we'll reprime it. We've got a couple of areas to just refine a little bit more and then we'll get it on the rollover jig and start prepping the underside for paint. Okay, now the dry build's done, Chris can crack on with blocking that primer, just refining everything he needs to do. As you can see, there's a little bit around the door to wing here that he's um, had to fettle. And then once he's rubbed it all back down, we'll get another two coats of primer on the shell. So a different type of whale tail is being fitted to this, which means we'll have some holes to weld up, but that's no problem at all. Right, time to blow all the dust off and get the shell clean and ready for its next coat of primer.
Okay, so the shell's now on the rollover jig and we found another small repair to make, but nothing too major. Right, on with prepping the underside, getting it ready for sealer and paintwork. Okay, so Chris has been busy prepping the underside of the 911 for paint. He's rubbed it all down. He's seam sealed all the seams that need sealing, including all of the little domed areas on the floor. Um, and then he's puffed some epoxy primer over any bare metal areas that he's rubbed through. So yeah, it's all ready now for Raptor. Okay, so as you can see in this instance, the client chose to have the underside painted in black. This is black textured Raptor. It just provides a really nice hard, tough finish, stop any, any stone chips or anything like that. Uh, we'd normally paint the underside in body color, but um, with the car being white, the customer decided that black was the best option. Okay, so off the rollover jig now, back on its dolly, ready to prep the outside for paint.
pretty pleased with how the insides come out. Um, there's not an awful lot of the shell left to paint. So we should have this in paint next week and have the panels painted. Um, quick shot of in there. We've started mocking up the rear bumpers. The bumpers have turned up. Gonna need a little bit of fettling around there just to make nice. We're gonna lose these as well, just to smooth it all out. That actually fits pretty well for a fiberglass aftermarket panel. So yeah, really good. Good progress this week. Oh, another thing, all the dash and down there is going black and the seat rails and a few other brackets will be going black. So yeah, there we are. So thanks for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.